hole. Black holes happen in many places in the universe. That looks like a giant spinning top! What you're seeing is the way a black hole pulls in anything that gets close to it. It reminds me of water going down a drain, except instead of water, it's dust, rocks, meteors. How does a black hole pull things in? Through gravity. Gravity is when one thing pulls another towards its center. A black hole can form when a star is dying out and collapses into itself. This creates a massive gravitational pull. A black hole's gravity is so strong that it even pulls in light. Imagine a star collapsing. Um, can the Earth be pulled into a black hole? You've got nothing to worry about, Willow. Our Earth is nowhere near a black hole. Phew! I was about to pack my bag and head for another galaxy! <laughs> Let's write black hole. Comets are objects that fly around space. Wow! What's that? That's a comet, Gorby. Comets are made of rock, gas, and ice. And they have tails blowing behind them. <laughs> Do the tails wag when they're happy? <laughs> no, not that kind of tail. Comets' tails are made when pieces of the comet break off and are blown away. Hi, Mr. Comet. Where do you think comets come from, Gorby? Um, outer space? Correct. After our solar system was formed, scientists think there were lots of leftover pieces. Some of those pieces are now comets. That's Halley's Comet. It flies past the Earth every 75 years. See you in 75 years! Constellations! The night sky is full of groups of stars called constellations. Stars! Hey, if I join those ones, I can make a circle! You made a constellation, Chester! A constellation is a group of stars people joined up to make different shapes. Just like playing connect the dots. The constellations have names. This one is called Orion the Hunter. Try connecting the stars with your... Yeah! Now I see him! <gasps> Look! That one's a dog! It is. That's Canis Major or the Greater Dog. The dog's eye is one of the brightest stars in the sky called Sirius. Many constellations have a story about their shapes to help you remember them. With that many stars in the sky, there must be lots of stories. I'm gonna make up my own, all about Chester, the greatest deer. Sound in space. What can you hear in outer space? Here on Earth, there's a lot of noise. Yeah, so many different sounds. But have you ever are out in space? It's noisy, right? Stars exploding, asteroids crashing into each other. Bash, crash. 
Let's see. And here, shall we? Here we are. In our galaxy. The Milky Way. Wait! Where's all the noise? In space, we can't hear the sounds, Marco. How can that be? On Earth, sounds can travel by vibrating air. That's how noise is mostly made. Oh, I get it. There's no air in outer space. So... Without the air... Sounds can't travel. Except you do hear... What, Marco? The sound of silence. Moon tides. Tides are the rise and fall of oceans, seas, rivers, and lakes. Here's a beach at high tide. And here's the same beach at low tide. Do you notice anything different, Lily? Hey, uh, where did the sea go? Did someone take the plug out? <laughs> when the water appears higher and covers more of the land, that's high tide. And when the water appears lower and covers less of the land, that's low tide. The water's gone. But I wanted to build a sand castle. Can we do anything to change the tides? I'm afraid not. The tides are made by the moon. The moon? How? Let me show you. Gravity is what keeps us here on the ground. So because of gravity, she dropped to the ground. The moon has gravity too. As the moon goes around the Earth, its gravity pulls at our water. When you're near the moon, the sea bulges towards it and makes the water rise. High tide! And when you're somewhere on Earth where there is no rise, it's... Low tide! So it's all down to the moon if I can build a sand castle or not. Thanks, moon! The Milky Way. The Milky Way is one of the billions of galaxies in the universe. Know that we live in the Milky Way. Huh? I thought we lived on Earth. We do, but our Earth is part of the galaxy called the Milky Way. So the Earth is part of our Sun's solar system, and our Sun is one of the stars in the Milky Way? Our Sun is one of over 200 billion stars in the dusty, gassy Milky Way. 200 billion? This is what the Milky Way looks like. It looks flat! The Milky Way is called a spiral galaxy. It looks like a flat spinning pinwheel, doesn't it? <laughs> Scientists know that thousands of those stars have planets orbiting them, just as our planet Earth orbits our Sun. So the Milky Way is full of billions of stars and us! Ha! Huh. We are all part of the biggest spinning pinwheel ever! Solar Eclipse! A solar eclipse happens about every 18 months, and you can only see it from certain parts of the Earth. What a beautiful, bright, sunny now, Willow. But it's about to turn much darker. But it's not even close to nighttime. You're about to see a solar eclipse. Oh, is that when the moon passes in front of the sun? It is. As the moon orbits the Earth, Sometimes the moon gets between the Earth and the sun, which blocks the sun's light. I can't wait to see this! Then you're going to need some special eclipse glasses. You should never look directly at the sun. Back in a second! Good work, Willow. Hey! It's already darker! The eclipse has started! Solar eclipses only last a few minutes. And some, called partial eclipses, don't block out all of the sun. But this is a total solar eclipse. It's amazing. As the moon continues in its orbit, the light from the sun is no longer blocked. You know, that 
felt like the shortest night ever. Star Nebula Star nebulae are found far away in outer space. Wow, what a beautiful painting. That's not a painting, Willow. It's a star nebula, deep out in space. Star nebulas are where the stars are formed. This is called the Crab Nebula. Oh, is it called crab because it looks like a crab? It is. <laughs> looks more like a butterfly to me. And that one's like a horse's head. That's its name, Horse Head Nebula. Nebulae are made up of gigantic clouds of dust and gas. Wow, 